Dear brothers and sisters, we are about to live another Sunday, the Lord's Day. And again we have the opportunity to meditate on His Word, which is lymph and nourishment for our soul. A word always alive and present, as is the episode of the rich young man, protagonist of this gospel. Young man, who like many young people of that time, lived yes religion, but did so with apparent devotion and profundity, with apparent respect and love for God. But once put to the test, demonstrated in the facts where his heart really was, because as Jesus says, where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Here is an empty faith that melts like snow in the sun, by disappearing at the moment of the call, because it is made only of exteriority and totally devoid of love, which leads nowhere, because there is not the right predisposition of heart and in appearance, one is not ready for everything, but really everything, to do the will of God. Will that instead the publican Matthew, was able to fulfill, follow me, the master said to him, and he got up and followed him, instantly leaving friends, work, riches, comforts, and becoming the apostle we all know. Here then, is on the one hand the arrogance of one who wanted to be perfect, but according to his human thinking. And on the other hand, the humility of another, who although he did not feel worthy, for the life he had led, showed himself immediately ready to do anything, to answer yes to the divine call of Jesus. The encounter with the Son of God is always a source of salvation for someone and ruin for others. Let us therefore all ask ourselves this question, but if the Lord also asked me, more than what I am giving now and perhaps, asked me to leave my home, friends, family, work, leisure time, my possessions, my habits and my comforts to help him, would respond as Matthew that got up and followed him, or as the rich young man who was saddened went his way. Would I able to put God always and in any case in the first place? Dear brothers the encounter with God always imposes a choice. The choice of life. A choice that can also be radical, as it was for so many saints, in the history of Christianity. And all the more so will it be in these last times, where Jesus again returned among us, he calls together all his children from this land of love. And for the last time he will address his call to the whole world, who again is and will be, a source of salvation for someone and a stumbling block for so many others. The choice will be only and always one, or Christ or the world, because as the Catechesis says, one cannot add Jesus to the things one already has and many for this, will prefer the world. Although is sinking more and more, in the pit he dug himself. And many first will be last and many last will be first, says today's Gospel. Let us therefore open our hearts more and more to God and the regenerative action of the motherhood of Mary. Let us always be ready and docile to God's will. Let us never become apathetic and fireproof to the action of the flame of the Holy Spirit, who wants to make us perfect, but according to the thought of God. Not by human standards, perfect in love, in faith, in wisdom, in charity, in the spirit of sacrifice, in generosity, in patience and perseverance. It doesn't matter if the world now doesn't understand us and thinks we are last. Let us only worry about what God thinks. So many men, as Jesus' parable in Luke's Gospel says, will decline the invitation to the banquet by losing everything they now think they possess. As it was for this rich young man. Here are the supposedly rich, that in the end will turn out to be the real poor, because they are deprived of God, the only treasure worth having in this life and, for which one can even lose everything to find everything in Christ, and already now, 100 times more than what we think we have lost, the Gospel reminds us. Here I am Lord, speak, your servant hears you. Yes, I love you Lord. Yes, I love you brother. All for you O Lord, dispose of my life as you wish. Do of me what pleases you, these are the words to be spoken with the heart, even before the mouth because this is the teaching we have received from Jesus and from the woman of God. 
And this is the teaching we constantly receive from this mother church. And whoever wants to be her son, truly her son, whoever wants to concretely advance in the journey of perfection. This is the attitude and the predisposition of heart that one must have. Without ever feeling that they have arrived, without ever setting themselves up as masters, without ever penalizing their brother or sister, without filling their mouths with so many empty words. As empty were the words of that young man who wanted to strut himself and who instead in deeds found his condemnation, do, demonstrate, turn, help, support and love the brothers and that God who has placed them beside you. And who loves you, follows you, watches over you, protects you, constantly. Remember dear friends, who shall be found faithful in the little, in the daily, with one's own example, will be found faithful even in the much and great will be his joy, united forever to the Lord of heaven and earth, that here lives and shall reign, forever and ever. Amen.